Question 11 of the GED Math Practice Test Part 1, that's the part with calculator. It says, okay, we're considering this particular chart here, okay? And it says, okay, this is a range of uh, ball thrown in meters. And we have, um, let's just interpret this diagram. And we have team 1, team 2, team 3, team 4 to team 5. And uh, here you have, we have, um, you can see the, dif the different colors. Um, this uh, particular darker shade is try one. So this, the next is try two. The next is three, try four, try five. So let's say uh, for team one, you have, this is try one, this is try two, try three, four, and five. And there's a space here for team two. This is try one, try two, then three, four, four and five okay and so on till we get to um, team five where this is also try one try two try three four and five okay so we've interpreted this diagram all right and uh, <clears throat> from here also you see the range of the throw um, in what meter so we have zero to 25 meters here so the first question okay i think we're going to answer use this graph to answer i think from question 11 to 15 so the first question here it says which team would win if the average of the five throws were considered? Okay, so he said, which team would win if the average of the five throws were considered? So, which team would win if the average of the five throws, and in each team had what, how many throws? That's uh, five, okay? So, if the average of the five throws of each team, okay, which one would win? So, we have to find the average of... Um, each team the, the five throws all right so let's say for let's start with um, okay now you can actually uh, when you look at this particular graph instead of you instead of us to waste instead of you to waste time just look at um, the, the throws the length okay of um, each of the team I just look at the numbers to see which one is quite high okay so from here if you just uh, just peruse through this you can see that um, the team five you have uh, this is high. Uh, the first try, the first try was uh, uh, 7.1. This is 18, 17, 17. So it's quite high. Team four, you have five. This is low for the first try. This is also low. This is high. 19 is high, and the last try, try which is try five, is quite high. So, and also team three. Um, okay, this is also quite considerable. They are all quite high. So you can just um, just consider picking the highest. It's of us you know you can waste time trying to go from team one to find the average going to team two to find find the average well, our question here says which team would win if the average of the five throws were considered so we are looking for the team where the average is the highest all right and from this particular chart the graph you can see that this team one and team two this the numbers here are quite low you can see this line here Okay, they are quite low. So um, we're just going to cut out team two and team one and find the averages of team three, four, and five. All right, so because this is where our answer would fall because these first two teams, they are quite low. All right, I hope you, you're getting me, but just follow me closely. You understand what, what I'm trying to do here. So let's um, sum up, you know, to find the average now, we're going to sum up what the throws, okay? Sum up the, the five throws, then divide by five. That is the average. You know, you sum up the total number of, uh, the sum up the throws, then divide by the total number of throws, which is what, five. That's the tries. All right, so for team three, just follow me closely and you understand what I'm uh, what we're trying to do here or what I'm trying to do okay so for three three we have what 17.1 plus 16.8 plus 16.2 plus 12.8 and plus what 15.8 and divided by what five so when you add this up punching your calculator you are going to get 78.7 divided by 5 and this will give us what 15.74 okay let's try to look for the average of team 4 okay we have here we have uh, 22.3 plus 19.1 this is where I am then plus 15.4 plus 9.7 then plus 5.8 divided by 5. When you add this up, 
we're going to get what 72.3 divided by 5 which will give us what 14.48 so this is quite is lower than team uh, team 3 so let's find what team 5 would give us my bet is team 5 is the highest okay that's the um the one that the team that would win okay so let's find out what this would be 17.9 plus 17.7 plus 17.4 plus 18.2 let me put this up here plus 17.1 all divided by what five okay when you add all this in all this up okay add all this up what are we going to get we're going to get 88.3 divided by five and this will give us what 17.66 so the team that would win Okay, is the one with the highest average, all right, of the five throws. And our team is what team five. So our right answer here is option five. Okay, so when you ha have this particular um, question, um, don't waste your time going to the lower ones, okay? Because would have you would have spent more minutes if we calculated for team one, team two, all the way to team five. Okay, so just look at your graph and just strike out some and go to the three next. Um, three next teams or values that you feel the average would fall in, all right? Okay, so here our answer is what? Option five.